Today's objective is solving equations by clearing the decimals. To solve an equation with decimal terms, you can just work it out with the decimals. Or you can clear the decimals by multiplying both sides of the equation by 10, 100, I didn't mean to write 1,000 there, 100 or 1,000. It depends on how many places after the decimal point you have in your problem. So let's say I have this problem. Example, 2 and 3 tenths equals 5 and 14 hundredths plus 8 tenths times x. I read it all in decimal terms. So you look at this and you say one place past the decimal point, two places past the decimal point, one place past the decimal point. What's the most that I would have to do to clear this? I'd have to multiply by 100 because there's hundredths here. So I multiply both sides of the equation by 100. 100 times 2.3 and 100 times 5.14 and 0.8. That means move the decimal place over 2, 230. Because we move it over 1 would be 23, another one 230. Move it over two places because you're multiplying by 100 equals 514. Move it over two places equals 80x. And now you just solve the problem. Divide by 514, we get 284 equals 80x. Divide by 80. So here's my answer, negative 284 divided by 80. Now this one I just divided. Okay, so I did the math. Oopsie, and I got negative 3 and 55 hundredths. I could have simplified this first before I divided, and that would have made my division a little bit easier. That's what I'm going to do over here in this one, but I just want to show you you can divide. Okay? Let's do one more. Example, 2 and 2 tenths x minus 3 and 64 hundredths equals 8 and 46 hundredths. So once again, here's one place past the decimal, here's two places, here's two places. So we need to multiply by 100 to get rid of all of our, de all of our decimals. 100 times 2.2 is 220 because you have to move it two places, so you have to add a zero. So 220x minus 364, because when we multiply this by 100, it totally clears the decimal out, equals 846, because when we multiply this by 100, it totally clears the decimal out. Add 364 to both sides, we get 220x equals 1,210. Divide by 220, we get x equals 1,210 divided by 220. Well, I just took off the zeros, and then I noticed, oh my gosh, 11 goes into both of them. So I divided by 11, and I got 11 halves, which is 5 and 5 tenths. So I wanted to show you here the division, but I wanted to show you here, if you can simplify your fraction, it'll make it a lot easier. That's it.